All right. Today is my very first day doing a Let's Play of River Blossom Hills. Now, full disclosure, I've been playing this neighborhood for like maybe a year, maybe two years, maybe a while. I've been playing it for a while. Um, but I've heard some people wanting Sims 2 Let's Plays, more of them in the, you know, zeitgeist or whatever. So I thought, hey, this is my main neighborhood. I would like to play it more. I would like to make more videos. Why don't I play it in my videos? So that's why we're doing a Let's Play for R River Blossom Hills. And I think we're going to start with Leah McGregor. If I'm butchering that name, someone tell me. Someone call me out. I do not know. I was about to say. I don't know how to pronounce Irish things, but I'm not even 100% sure that that's where this name comes from. So... Just, just let me know. So River Blossom Hills is one of those neighborhoods that did not ship with the base game. And I feel like people hate on it a little bit. I don't know why. I guess because Seasons wasn't one of those packs that's like, oh, you get all these like cool new, totally new things. It's kind of just like enhances the base game. So maybe people are like, why do we need River Blossom Hills? We don't need a whole world for this. I personally am a fan of River Blossom Hills. I guess I just kind of have done the like Pleasant View and Strange Town thing and of course no one ever talks about Veronaville, but I've like done all of those a lot and I feel like River Blossom Hills doesn't necessarily have an established like thing that you do with the Sims there yet. Like there's not really an assumed sort of storyline which I like because it feels a little fresher, even though the game's like 15 years old. And we're always looking for freshness. So we're starting with the McGregor family, who I really enjoy playing. I honestly don't, like, have long-term plans for this guy, and I have very long-term plans for the most of them. But my favorite thing is that he has a home business. So <laughs> it's snowing, it's winter. Let me get the camera oriented here. So he's got this barn that's already out here for like, like when you load up the game. But I made it into a little store and I love it. He it looks like he might need to restock a few things. Actually, I'm not sure. Wait, yes, he does. He should restock things. How is his needs... So I'm just going to like run his store for a second. Wow, that was super gross. He was just eating the grossest food. Okay, well, he's still hungry. Okay. Hmm. Oh, what if he made berry pie? That seems like such a thing he would do. What are his hobbies? I'm like, I kind of forget a little bit about each guy. What is it? One best of the best award. Oh, yeah, he his business is doing very well. His business is rank 7, if we can look over here. Like, we've got some perks. I got, like, all the wholesale guys, and I'm starting to get, like, the perception stuff. I don't really have, like, a long-term concept for this. Let me hang up his... Oh, he has... Why does he have tulips? I feel like he must have bought that at, like, someone else's shop, but that means we can sell them. So let's put his best of the best award somewhere in here. Can we hang it on the wall? Yes. It will go... Can I go above the phone? No. There we go. What if we... Oh yeah, and that's supposed to be a fish. Is there no... Is nothing supposed to be there? Well, we will put the bouquets over there. And do we have fish that in the business mode do not exist? Oh yeah, all of them are out. So let's take away that guy. That guy goes away. Goodbye. Oh, we're, he's just down there. We love. Okay. Oh, a smaller catfish. Okay. Just putting all these guys... down there so we can sell them later. I kind of want to buy him another 
like case here. Let's see, maybe in a different area? No, not in a different area. There's no space here. Oh, that's nice. Okay. We're gonna sell that bad boy. Oh my god, does these salmon take up the whole thing? Oh my god, they do. Why do they take up so much? Okay, we're gonna keep these... Oh, they're trouts. That makes sense. Salmon is in the ocean. Trout is in not the ocean. Let's restock. I'm like maybe not the best at businesses, full disclosure. Um, you know what? No, I'm gonna keep those there and then we're just gonna like put these in his inventory again. But I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm Sims to business savvy or anything like that. But his business seems to be going pretty well. Alright, but I want I want him to get food so that he can open his business. Okay, he's eating pie, he's eating pie, we love put away leftovers. He's not having fun. He's not having fun. I think we can have fun while we open the business. Does he have employees? Where do I see? Gavin Ebody. Ebody? I always thought it was Ibadi. I guess that's one of those like last names in this game that a bunch of people have. What's your how is this pronounced? Someone tell I feel like everything I always ask is just like how does how is this supposed to be pronounced? I don't know. Okay, business. Business. Let's restock that guy. That's fun. There are no more harvestable. Oh, that was a harvestable item? Y'all. Y'all. Okay. He's talking to somebody. Oh, that is Cleo. Cleo is here. We recognize her. I'm going to show the item to Cleo. Oh, nope. I'm not going to show that item to Cleo because she has found her way to this guy. I'm gonna dazzle her. We're gonna dazzle, dazzle, blah, blah, blah. dazzle Cleo, dazzle Cleo. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, he's in his pajamas. Oh, what a disaster. Oh my god. Does he have a coat hook? Yes, he has a coat hook. What happened? All right, we're gonna see if Cleo buys this item. We've got Christian over here, sales. It's dazzle. We love to dazzle. Lainey Landry. I literally, she is not a sim we created, but I love her name. She's in this, like, very sick 2000s outfit. She's got some cool CC hair. What is her face? Show me her face. No. Um, you know, she's got a little bit of the towny face problem, but maybe, maybe we can befriend her. Maybe, maybe, um, McGregor here needs, needs a, a lady friend. Nope. Let's see. Dazzle. Oh my god, he's reading the newspaper. I left him unattended for too long. Get out of here. Oh my god, you're reading the section Home and Garden while you're not minding your Home and Garden store. Literally. Oh no, this guy. Oh my gosh, we got rank 8 on our business. That's very exciting. I wonder, is 10 the top rank or does it go, like, higher? I don't know a lot about this. Okay, let's... Can we, like... Hmm. Oh my god, he needs to get it together. He's about to buy something. This guy did not have a good time. We're gonna dazzle. This guy has my last name. That's funny. Peter Sims. All these people I don't know. Oh my god, I don't have anyone for the register. Oh my god. I'm so stressed out. I forgot how stressful this is. No. Oh no. Ah. 
Okay, this is why I need that cash register person to come in. Okay, I'm going to close the business in a hot sec. <laughs> uh, okay, ring up the customer. Oh my god, do not, snowman. Do not. Do not. I swear to you. I swear to you. This is what happens. This is what I get when I make him do this when his fun meter is low. That's, that's what I get. This was my just desserts. Oh my god, people left. <sighs> no. Oh my god. Wow. Devastating. I've never had that happen before. You've witnessed it. You've witnessed my ultimate fall from grace. The fall of Leah McGregor's, you know, home and garden shop. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Okay. It's over now and we don't have to ever think about it again. So that's nice. Is he showering? Yep, he's showering outside in the snow. What a guy. I have this like outhouse here and uh, shower thing because I feel like any employees, I have them like locked out of the house. What is that guy? But okay. Let's see, what is his, what's up with his employees? I wish, does this person have more? Oh, they have a Bronze restocking badge. I feel like I want to see if there's anyone who can just be on the cash register because I like the idea of him selling, but maybe we can get a cash register person instead. Let's see. No badges. No badges. No badges. No badges. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Now let's go back to your house. He needs his fun up. He is going to read that mystery book. And he wants to... Oh, maximum enthusiasm in nature. He's a nature guy. There we go. And he's doing pretty well in household funds. He doesn't really, like, have any sort of forward momentum in his, um, oh no, I can't do that because his aspiration is so low. Okay, we're going to make his enthusiasm in nature go up. No, do not. Oh, maybe he needs to go to sleep. Go to sleep. And then we're going to have him drink that last of the elixir of life. I'm kind of thinking, I'm kind of wondering, I feel like he should have a child to, like, carry on this store or someone someone that lives here and can carry on the store because he is like so close to turning into a elder and I slowed it down with the elixir of life so I just feel like there needs to be some kind of game plan here you know what maybe here's the game plan uh in the Greenman household like that the youngest bubby like moves in here as like kind of a like surrogate child for him or something you know is that possible? Is that what we want to do? Maybe. I'll think about it. I just, let's focus, let's focus on his enthusiasm for nature. Okay, why are you taking bubble bath? You're hungry. You're hungry, Leod. Okay. Yes, that is the one dish you have. I really wish they could just take out one serving. Boy, do I. Okay, here we go. Put it away, you sloppy guy. Okay, we're gonna have you go hiking. Very exciting. He's gonna go hiking somewhere. Oh, and he wanted to go hiking too. That's fantastic. He wants to plant a seed and blog about nature. Well, lucky he has a computer. He needs to repair it. Oh, he found a gnome. We can sell the gnome. Okay, he's dancing alone. <laughs> Call the repair guy. Do you, are you handy? Do you have a hand? No, you, no. Why do you not have skills? Why do you not have skills, my friend? Call service. Does he have friends? Okay, he's close with Gabe. 
Jason Greenman. Maybe he could be closer friends with Jason Greenman. Maybe they could hang out. Sharla Adamas. Oh, um, what what if one of the Adamas children like? Hmm. I'm scheming, y'all. I'm scheming, repairman. Okay. We are gonna call in the employees. This guy with his bronze restocking badge. What is our, do we have a restocking badge? Okay, bronze on the cash register. Oh my god, we have so much gardening gold. Did he start the game with that? I'm 100% certain I did not do that. <laughs> okay, you know, it is a new day. Oh my god, stop getting distracted. We are going to see who else we can hire. Is, it, is our employee here? There he is. Okay. Management. Okay. Ooh, oh, that's pottery. Ugh, Dawson Cormeyer. We don't need pottery. <sighs> oh, this guy. What is his salary requirement? Oh, I feel like we do not pay this guy this much. Even Tinker. No. Hmm. Should we get this guy? He's very expensive, though. Let's see. How much do we pay this guy? What is his sal? How do we tell? Oh, 20. Okay, yeah, we're not switching to the other guy. Great. Oh, he's restocking anyways. That's awesome. Cool, 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 cool. Catch butterflies. You want to catch some butterflies? Or what can, what can we do? Go hiking again? Bird watch. What if you bird watch? Okay, that guy's done. How's restocking dude doing? He's doing okay. Maybe let's open up the business again. You know what's so annoying? The, like, fact that the house is on a foundation, but the other thing, the barn is not. It's, like, very annoying to switch between that. If I had one main annoyance... For this household. It would be that for sure. Okay, stop. We're stopping bird watching now. We are not going to bird watch no longer. Where is he on his hobby enthusiasm? What's up? Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, he's close. He can't be in the zone yet, but he is close. Oh, a phone is ringing. He really has a problem changing into the correct clothing. Okay, not the time to chat, my friend. Yes, sell him the compost. Sell him the compost. Can we make him be the cashier in a second so he can ring these people up? Yes, he already went there. Peter Sims. Yes. This is so exciting. Ooh, Gabe O'Mackey, our friend. Who looks very similar to us. I swear, all of the, like, me adult men in River Blossom Hills that they send in. Ooh, Lainey is back. Our friend Lainey. Sales. Dazzle. Gabe cannot quite make it into the shop. He needs to figure out that there are literally two other doors he can walk through. But uh, what I was blah 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 blah, what I was saying was the uh, all like the River Blossom Hills dudes straight up look the same. Like let's be real. 
Okay, Gabe is here. Show item to Gabe. Oh, Gabe is already going to an item. Gabe wants a grill. Okay, we are going to sell you the grill, Gabe. Have a grill. Oh, and everything is set as expensive. Oh, that's average. Hmm. Let's see. Basic cell. I feel like, oh, when I get this many people in, it's just like, oh my gosh, there's so many people. Oh my god, no, 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 don't go to sleep. You need to dazzle them. You need to dazzle them, Gregor. His last name is so much easier to say than his first name. Okay, I feel like we're gonna need to, like, sell this to her and then close the business because things are getting a little bit out of hand. I always get panicked. Oh my god, and he's gonna sleep. Do I have... Have I, like, done his rewards? Yes, he should, he should not need to sleep. I guess he still needs to sleep. Oh my god, his energy is so low. Oh, what am I doing? Close the business, my friend. Oh my gosh. Okay, you are sleeping. You are going to sleep. No, just... Oh, he's a, he must have passed out. Oh my god. Oh, what a disaster. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. Sleep in your pajamas. And he still didn't get more enthusiasm in nature. Okay, he needs to sleep just long enough so he can send that employee home. Or that employee is going to quit. I made that mistake one time, and I kept an employee here for, like, indefinitely, I guess. Um, which is definitely an issue. Uh, and then he quit. And it was sad. He was the cashier. He Back then we had a cashier. Now we just have this guy. We just have Gavin. What is, why is Gabe up and about? What? You are not energized. What is up with you? What are you doing? No, what did I do? My friend, sleep in pajamas. Okay. I just want... Okay, we just need to, like, buckle down. Get his nature enthusiasm up. Then he can take the elixir of life. And then I can figure out, like, what the game plan is with this guy. I feel like I have everyone else's lives plan out. And then he's just a mystery. He's just a guy who lives in a shop. Who not lives in a shop, but, like, has a shop on his home lot. That's just it's his identity in this game. And I guess he needs another one, probably. Maybe. I don't know. Should he become, like, a vampire? I feel like that's super not his style. He is on such a wrong sleep schedule. But... He can blog about nature, and he can browse web for nature, and then he can go hiking in nature. And then his aspiration will go higher. Yes, it's already happening. Very exciting. I feel like he should be more friends with Jason Greenman. I don't know. I feel like the businesses in Sims 2 require so much, like, looking at them and keeping after them that it's kind of hard to do anything else, unless that's, like, not the main source of income for the Sims, I guess. What are you doing? Oh, you're going hiking. I told you to do that. Okay, he's stinky, but I guess that's okay, because he's hiking. Anyway, 
Ooh, <gasps> he did it. Ah, oh, we're here, we're back. And now he wants to learn fire prevention and have a level nine business. Yes, lock in, we are locked in. Wow, that's so much aspiration, that's amazing. I bet with each one it's like 8,000, 9,000, etc. Awesome. He's gonna drink that elixir of life and you're gonna clean and take a shower. Wild world of nature. Being at one with your surroundings is a goal that many nature enthusiasts share. Trying to achieve that goal is a journey that has many obstacles. This time your obstacle is bees, run, wow. I've been playing so much Animal Crossing, and that does feel applicable and real. Gotta tell ya. I really like this nice little farmhouse. I feel like it's just... It's really nice. I like this side. Who is this nature lady? I guess she, she's a nature lady. I answered the question. Oh, he's rejuvenated. He's... Oh, he has bees? Wait. Oh, no. How do I deal with bees? I've never had bees. Oh, my God. I need my phone immediately. I'm not letting him... Die. You're also not supposed to let the last sim on the lot die. That's supposed to like be mega bad for your game. Oh my god. Bees. The Sims. There's so much is happening at the same time. Oh. No, not Sims 4. Bees the Sims. I need to specify Sims 2. How could I forget this in my crisis? Bee attacks. This is a mod the Sims thread from 2009. Um, let's see, how do I get rid of the bees? Can they die by bees? Oh, I'm so worried. I guess I'll just have to see. Honestly, I'm going to like quit without saving if this happens. Oh God. Do I need to do anything about it? Oh my god, there's all these bees. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Recycle? Get him to do anything else? Is he still getting attacked by bees? No, he's good. He's okay. Oh, wow. Okay. He's okay, y'all. We can all breathe easy. Now that we know our friend Leah McGregor is okay. All right. Well, with his enthusiasm up to uh, 10 there, I feel like this is a good place to end it for now. You got a little taste of River Blossom Hills. And I think I'll just go around to each different household and play the game and show you my sims. This sim is calling a lot. I feel like Maybe there's a future there with, um, Carol Thayer. We'll see. We'll see. So we'll see what Leah and the gang and the rest of River Blossom Hills are up to next time. This was a scrunchy Sims video. Thank you for joining me. Uh, if you like this video and you want more like it, you can subscribe or like the video or leave a comment. And not only is it helpful in the algorithm of the YouTube site, uh, it is also helpful because it warms my soul. So, thank you for watching.